Welcome guys, what's up, what's up, you watching Toxic Monkey, that's, oh that's the last mission We got his car, okay. no we stole the car So, let's go here Kill Tommy Marcado Wait, 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 wait Let's see who the hell is We got Ovala Tommy, we're gonna kill this fellow Okay So we're almost done, so after we kill this guy, probably gonna kill this guy and this guy and then boom Alright Guys, don't like, subscribe, look at your Share it, I thought it would work, but never mind. Okay, guys, share, like it, it means a lot for me. So, we need to talk to Don Vaughn something. Yeah, he's like the secondary main character. V uh, not Vero. Um, Lincoln Clay is the, the main character, then Dolvin is always like, give him the information about this guy. Wait, do I have the same guy with this guy? No, we won't. Well, I think so. Now we're gonna talk to Dolvin, and after that, he's gonna get us, uh, you know, the information because he works at the SVI. He's a dirty FBI, you can say, but he's doing the right. I don't know, actually. You know, he's just giving information. But yeah, you gonna see the river, something. Look at that. Look, look. Boing! He saw that sh Oh shit, witness. Oh run, drive fast, drive fast. Drive for your life. But they will never find out. Okay, yeah, they will never find out. I'm out of the area. Let's go. Alright. Boing! Move, move, you move. Okay, let's see. Tommy Marcano brought in a counterfeiter from Cuba, right? Well, Sal spent a couple of months trying to print the money himself, but none of it was worth a damn. The color was wrong, printing was cockeyed, you name it. He needed someone who knew what the fuck they were doing. So he used his connections and found a man named Alvarez. And this Alvarez was also counterfeiting money for Castro. Most of our enemies counterfeit American money. Hell, some of our allies do too. Sorry, he's gone. What do you mean, he's gone? All you had to do is drive down to the goddamn lighthouse and pick him up. It's not my fault Alvarez is running all over the goddamn place. I wanted to lock his ass up, but you wouldn't hear of it. The last thing we need is Zaraga finding out that we treated his nephew like dog shit. You understand? Then Lincoln Clay comes in shooting the shit out of it. Lincoln Clay. Lincoln Clay. I'm so sick and fucking tired of hearing about this cocksucker. He's just one man. A fucking nigga. We're skating a thin line here, Tommy. You understand? This thing falls apart. We fucked all of us. So, what the fuck would you do? What the fuck would I do? Listen here. This ain't rocket science. If that fucking nigga got to Alvarez, it means he knows about the place. He's gonna come after him. You understand? Get your ass down to that motherfucking gym and protect them. Yeah, sure. I'm on it. This shit ends right here, right now. No more fuck-ups. <sighs> fuck me. According to these reports, Tommy Marcano had the money press in a boxing gym he operated. Tommy knew Lincoln was coming for the plates, but he felt he had to keep up appearances. The second he started canceling fights and shutting the place down was the second people started thinking he was out of his league. He wasn't about to allow that to happen. How did Lincoln Clay gain access to the gym? He had me track down a man named Alcy Bennett. Alcy is a small-time hustler that worked for Sammy until he double-crossed him and was kicked out of the hollow. After that, he scratched out a living recruiting fighters for Tommy's jungle fights. If he vouched for Lincoln at the door, Lincoln could get in without a big ruckus. Alcy's by the briar patch, not far from here. I'll stop by and say hello, see how he's getting along. All right. <laughs> Have fun. Kill Tommy Marcano. So it's super nice how like the game go go to the like go what happened to him. He's like now they probably got they busted all of them and now they're confessing. Because if some of them if they confess that's what they do. If if you confess about something or you snatch at somebody, you you won't get sentenced the usual. You would get like a sh instead of like I mean like. Let me give you an example. 
okay, you like commit a crime with a, like a mafia, and then you, you say, okay, I will tell you, okay, if you tell us everything about what you have done, we'll short you, we'll short you sentence. So imagine it's five, five um, years, and maybe short one year, two years, you know, depend how. Um, like whether the decision, decision is not always right, why? Like how many times? Sometimes ten minutes they take. You, I don't think so. They, I'm not sure if they take five years. If you have ten years, they might just take the the most is maybe one year. It depends. It depends. Why? Everybody, everybody who ever coming drive, they want to go early, like get out of this place as fast as possible. Okay, let's go in and see. It's in okay, never mind. We have to talk to him. <laughs> well, fuck me running. If it ain't Lincoln Clay. Surprised to see me, I'll see. Mm, I heard about Sammy Nellis. Tough break. I guess you made it out okay. Speak of them once more, and I'll slice you from here to asshole. Let's go. We're taking a drive. Assuming I don't have a choice here. What do you think? <sighs> Lead the way. Okay. Okay. Mister, you're gonna come with us, you know? You have to come with us, Mr. Joey. Get in. Right now, this moment, you get in. Get your ass here. You know I stayed away. I ain't stepped foot in the hollow since November of 62. Almost six years. I know. Can you at least tell me where we're going? The Acadia. It's where Tommy Marcano holds his jungle fights, right? It is. And you've been recruiting black fighters for him? I have. Good. Because I want in. What? Why? I wanted you to know I'd have told you. If I'm sticking my ass out like that, I need to know why. Motherfucker, you lucky to be alive after what you did to Sammy. You really think he wouldn't notice you stealing all that money? Look, I paid for that a hundred times over. Six years banished from the only place I ever called home. Christ, I couldn't even go see my mama on her deathbed. You made your choice. And now it's time to make another one. And I do this. You get a clean slate. Come and go through the hollow as you please. Fuck. Okay. I hear if you win out, Tommy meets you in person. That true? He likes to size up the winners. See if there's someone he wants to bring on regular. Or if they're just a one-time deal. I ain't gonna question your driving, but you might want to pay attention. Anyway, mm -hmm. like I was saying, where's this happen? Usually up there in his office. One of his guys will meet you in the locker room after the fight. He'll take you to time. All right. All right, let's see. Fighters don't take the front entrance. We go in through the side door. That was spark it, so they think we're gonna kill this guy, bro. Kill Tommy Marcano, bro. This gonna be nice. Wait. Okay, first we need to get some ammo. Cause look, we don't even have ammo to kill. Before we get in bro, I need to buy some weapons, sorry bro. I wish if you can upgrade your weapon like at, at, at some stuff. Okay, let's see. Rivals. That's not oh okay, here, let's see. Uh this one here and then this one here and then all right let's go. okay let's go let's see hold up I'll see who the fuck's this 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 is Jack now Johnson what's he here for fuck you mean what he here for we here to fight boy gotta search him no weapons allowed. Submit the path. Do what you gotta do. Watch where you put your hands, motherfucker. Save it for the ring, dipshit. 
Go ahead. Thank you. He took my weapons. God damn it. Hang back gonna need new shoes after this shit. Motherfucker needs a doctor. Just dump him in an alley. Let nature take its course. You good now. Go on. All right. How you know? Where you at, out, see? All right. I gotta go make the arrangements. Give them your name and such. You go on and get changed. Who you got with you tonight, Elsie? New guy. New guy looks tough, but my money's staying on the brawler. I gotta ask you something, Elsie. What's that? Do all you niggas love beating the fuck out of each other? <laughs> so what happens if we get caught? Probably what you think. <sighs> For a chance to go home again, it's worth it. No matter what happens, we should go. All right, enter the ring. He's gonna get fucked. This is it. You nervous? Should I be? Guess that depends on where all this ends. You're gonna head through these doors and they announce your name. Then make your way to your corner. Where are you going? Oh, I'll meet you there. This part of the show is all about you. They love showing off their fight niggas. Go on, they're waiting. All right. And the jungle fights continue, boys. The next challenger to face Nick Boom Boom Beaumont comes in at over six feet tall, weighing approximately 220 pounds. This is Jackknife Jackson. Jackknife Jackson. <laughs> oh my God! You ready to do time, Mr. Joey? We're going in the rain. Let's go fight in the. We're gonna fight in a cage. Oh shit! That's gonna be. The cage, they say, I don't want a lot of like wrestling, but. Just had to start something. <laughs> over here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What the fuck you doing, huh? <laughs> you motherfucker. You think you can take me down? You don't know who I am? Bitch ass. I'm undefeatable. That's all? That's all? Alright. Holy shit, that's a big chunk of... Bring your ass here, big chunk of... Got that. Stay out of the corner. Got it. All right. The the brother of like Tommy some uh, Tony something Tony Marcado might come after the fight because because it's his show I think so. Bitch ass, come on. He might come and and then find out that we're not Jack Knife. Okay, let's see. Where are you, bro? Making his way to the ring is the beast of the bayou. The rampage. Holy shit, it's like his brother. Must have been fast skinny. Alright, let's go. You know why they call him Grave Digger? Because he buries motherfuckers? Well, yeah. So how do I beat him? You hit him really. Really hard. All right. Holy shit, he's right. Come on, bro. Come on, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Come. How about now, bitch? Bitch ass. Go back to the grave. Grave digger. Go back to the grave. That's me. I feel like Tommy Tommy Marcado is coming to the door and said, This is not like nice. That's like and play and there's such a and that's what's gonna happen. And then after that we kill him. It might. Now I'm not saying it will. I'm not saying it will. Right. That's it, kid. Let's go. What happens now? 
You head on back to the locker room and collect your winnings. Where are you heading? Me? I got business to attend to. All right. Let's go. We won the fight. Few niggas really know how to brawl. Uh, my respect, that's for fucking sure. Okay. You must think I'm some kind of goddamn moron coming in here like you did. I've never been one to shy away from a calculated risk. Maybe you should have. I'll mix some vegetable oil in. Makes the gasoline thick, sticky. We're just gonna let it soak in a little bit. Mm. Work his way into every nook and cranny. That way, when I light it, that shit's gonna burn like napalm. Shit. He's fucked. And you, oh, and you, oh, you are gonna hide like the rope. no one's hide before. Okay, we need to fuck you. To Guess you're the ready rope. to die. You still be conscious as the flames creep up come on, your come legs. Come on, come on. But as come on. Burn, you'll be hit in the gut you think you can take me down? I'm gonna get out, kill you. Oh, you see? Told you I'm gonna kill you guys, motherfuckers. Kids joining the party! <laughs> Come. How the fuck I shot his head? We don't have to do this. We can work something out. Only thing needs working out of your funeral arrangements. Okay, let's see. That's that then. Sure looks that way. You know, Sal wanted me to go to law school. Work for some big company. Maybe run for office. Do something decent with your goddamn life, you understand? Should have listened to him. It's in the blood, you know. Yeah. You are who you are. No point in arguing with yourself about it. Fuck you. I don't deserve this. What the fuck is this? Now we know if he's 100% dead. Okay, die bitches. Look what the cat trip up. Gonna bury you. My question is, is there a way we can, like. Wait, I don't think so. There's a way we can. Take a shorter way. Okay. Oh, 